Hello and welcome to our class. Today we're going to look at how to construct figures of the same area. In the end, in our case, we've been given a triangle and we are required to draw a square. So as the question says, a triangle ABC construct a square equal in area to the given triangle. So we have our triangle ABC. We have length AB is 50 millimeters. BC we have 80 millimeters and AC 90 millimeters. So we're going to redraw our triangle the way it is. So we're going to so we have length AC is 90. So we have that is 90. Then from there we have AB is 50. Make sure you are 50. 50 millimeters. SC is 50. So at that point, make an arc. Then from there, also we have BC as 80 millimeters. Have as 80 millimeters. So we have this. So we can complete. Remember our area, we say this is our A, this is our point B, and then we have a C. So we can join. Point A to B, and then point B to C. Remember in our previous video said that for you to construct a, a square of equal area to the triangle, we, you will first draw a, a rectangle and then come back to square. So we're going to bisect or we're going to drop a perpendicular height from point B so that we can find the height of our triangle. So for you to construct a perpendicular bisector of line AC perpendicular height, you open your compass line AC and make that arc, we have our arc cutting two points in our line AC, we have that point and our second point so one leg of your compass at this point make sure you expand your compass make an arc on the lower part move to the next point and draw your arc so we're going to draw a line passing through the point of intersection of our arcs to point to B so that you can have the height of our triangle. So we have height of our triangle, we can name this point as point M. So the height of our triangle is BM. So for us to construct a rectangle of equal area to this triangle, we're going to bisect the height, which is BM. And bisection simply means to divide into two equal parts. So we're going to bisect going to bisect BM have that so we're going to join the points of intersection of our axe using a line without even using a line we can just make we can show it on our line BM so it go it's good it will catch point maybe point O in our line B BM so from there we're going to strike a line so we're joining this line so we have that and then from there we're going to erect a line from point A to touch our line of bisection so we have that from point A we erect a line then also from point C we erect a line So we have that. So I can name this. Remember, we have now a rectangle. So I can name this one A, C, D, and E. So we have a rectangle of equal area to the triangle. And then from there, we are going now to construct a square. So we are going to extend line AC. Extend line AC. That way. And then from there... One leg of your compass at point C, you open it to point D and draw 
a sector. So we have that to point D and then we draw a sector to the to our extension of line AC. So we can name this part as point S. Now we have this line AS. We can bisect now line AS. From there you bisect line AS. So we're going to bisect line AS. Expand to your compass to more than half of line AS. Make an arc on the upper part. Make an arc on the lower part. Move to point A. Make an arc. Then make another arc. So we have the points where our arcs intersect. We have that point and that point. So we're going to strike a line. We're going to strike a line. So we have that. So we have that point. We can name this point where this our line of bisection meets our line AS. We can name it as point R. This point is point R. Now we're going to take point R as our center and open our compass to point A and draw a semicircle. Remember point R is the midpoint of line AS. So AR and RS is equal. So we're going to draw this semicircle. So we have our semicircle. Remember this is our semicircle. It touches from point A to point S. We have our semicircle. From there we're going to extend la our line CD. That is the width of our rectangle. A C D E. So we have we're going to extend line C D to touch our semicircle. To touch our semicircle. So I'm going to extend it to touch my semicircle. So I have that. So we now have uh, this uh, line touching our semicircle at point X. At point X. Remember now, CX is one of our side length of our square. And we all know that square, all the sides are equal. So I'm going to complete my square. So I'll take this measurement of CX with my compass and make an arc to show this other length, this other side of my square. I have this one, I can call this point T, and then from point T, I'll also step at point T, make an arc on the upper part, and then from point X, also make that arc, and then join the point of intersection with point T, point T, so I have that, draw a straight line. So I'll draw a straight line. So I have that and then point X to the point of intersection of my axe. So as you can see, I already have my square. So I can name here as point Z. So you can see C, T, Z, X. So we are saying that CT ZX, that is our required square. So you're going to show your square because you are asked to draw the square of equal area to the triangle. So you have, so you show this is your, uh -huh. so you complete using your HB pencil to show that this is the required square. Make sure your work is neat. So that is my final square. As you can see, we drew our triangle ABC. And from our triangle, we drew a rectangle of equal area to our triangle, which is AEDC. That is our rectangle. And then from our rectangle, we drew a square of equal area to the triangle. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more.